were wounded that night. One was Paul Schrade, then a regional director for the United Auto Workers. He would take political risks. He could go to a university and, and uh, tell students they had no right to deferments uh, from the war in Vietnam, that they were in a special, cozy position that uh, kids of poor families or workers' families didn't have because they had this special uh, deferment. And he would be booed by them, but he would get through to them finally. Uh, he could go uh, to corporations and say, look, you've got to deal with problems in the poor communities, and you've got to invest money in Bedford-Stuyvesant, the worst of the, of the uh, ghettos of, of, of Brooklyn, or in Watts. And they would hate him uh, for, you know, sort of tweaking their consciences, but some of them would follow through. And uh, he was able to take on uh, Lyndon Johnson on the war in Vietnam, which was the most disgraceful, murderous kind of policy that this country's had in our lifetimes. And, and uh, stand up on those questions. And, and so you saw him uh, not only as a very caring person on a personal level, uh, but also a person who could give leadership and be honest with people and not just do the popular thing, not follow the polls. I don't think he ever read a poll in his life. Also wounded that night was Erwin Stroll, then a 17-year-old campaign volunteer. During the campaign, we would be with him in the crowds, and I've never seen, other than a, a big celebrity, draw that passion where you had to touch this politician. You had to f have some physical contact with him to feel that he was real because he was an unbelievable individual. I remember one campaign where they were, people were actually grabbing his cufflinks and grabbing his arms because they wanted a piece of him. And when you touched his hand, no matter where it was, you didn't want to let go. But somehow his gentleness removed his hand from yours and you felt, you felt that, that gap, but you didn't feel that it was an abrupt handshake like many politicians do, just to touch the crowd. He wanted to reach out and touch the people. In 1968 and before, there was no Secret Service protection for candidates. One who was with Bobby that night to help with security was Roosevelt Greer. You know, when we travel around an automobile, it was a convertible. And I had my arm around Bobby's waist. And, but because he was shaking hand, leaning over, I had to hold him tightly, right? So Bobby said to me, he said, Rosie, you're holding me too tight. I said, but Bobby, if I don't hold you tight, you're going to fall. He said, you're holding me too tight. I said, if I don't hold you tight, you're going to fall. He said, you're holding me too tight. So I didn't hold him tight, and he fell. You know? And so there I am. I am trying to pull him up. And the people are still trying to shake his head. And Ethel is trying to pull up, pull me off. I said, Ethel, you, you can't. So we finally got a hold of the, the, the seatbelt and we were able to pull him up. Never heard another word about me holding him too tight. But uh, what Bobby was to me was an inspiration. He made us want to be a part of something that will cause our nation to be great. And, and we lost a great man. For too long, we have dealt with these deadly weapons as if they were harmless toys. Yet their very presence, the ease of their acquisition, and the familiarity of their appearance have led to thousands of deaths each year and to countless other crimes of violence as well. With the passage of this bill, we will begin to meet these responsibilities. It is a necessary bill, and I urge its immediate enactment. When we come back, memories of the last campaign. For two days last fall, the people of Los Angeles experienced the visit of Pope John Paul II. For 48 hours, Channel 5 was there, providing critically acclaimed continuous coverage. Now you can relive the majesty of this history-making event for years to come. For a limited time, you can order The Pope's Visit to Los Angeles on video cassette. You'll enjoy two hours of Channel 5's coverage highlights with a special introduction by Archbishop Roger Mahoney. In addition, you'll receive a second video cassette, The Life of Pope John Paul II, Channel 5's biography of His Holiness, produced on location in Poland, Rome, and the Vatican. 
and narrated by Stan Chambers. These commemorative tapes are now available in English or Spanish at the special price of $44.95 a set. To order, call toll-free 1-800-231-3400 and ask for item ZZ888. 1-800-231-3400. Item ZZ888.